All right, one of the things I love doing is being really transparent with you and showing you exactly what I'm doing with my money. And so that's what we're gonna be talking about today. Uh, so if you've been around, you know that I have watched the ups and downs of the crypto world, and um, I won't get into all the details here, but long-term, not on a short-term basis, but on a long-term basis, I'm very optimistic about the future of crypto. And with that in mind, I've been thinking like, how can I get this into a Roth IRA? Because if it really does have the upside potential that I think it can, how can I get this covered under a Roth IRA? And so I began that search and that journey, uh, and I'm gonna drop you into a lesson from our Crypto Essentials mini course that we have that um, a lot of our 10X investing students have access to. Uh, and I just thought I would pull this out just because I know a lot of you are thinking just like I am with this. And so uh, if that's something that you've been thinking about, where you're like, I already have a little bit of crypto, but I'd love to get it into a Roth IRA, um, this is gonna be really helpful for you because I went through and did the research, looked at all these different companies that we could do this with, ended up deciding on one that I'm like, all right, I think this is the best one for me. And so I'm gonna just take you into this lesson where I show all of this. You can see exactly um, how I'm thinking about it and why I picked the company that I did. And this is another one of those podcast episodes where it's probably better to watch it like on the YouTube channel. So I'll have a link in the description. And just being honest with you, it's like sometimes I, I see this, I'm like, I wanna share this with the podcast audience, but you can't see some of the stuff. And anyway, and so I'm trying to do my best. I, I think it's still worth it even if you can't see it and you're just listening to this. Uh, but if you feel like I gotta listen to this, check out the show notes, we'll have the link in there to go see the video um, if you wanna do that. But with all that out of the way, let me drop you into this video um, just so you can see how this is going. One of the first things I started kind of thinking about after I started making my first couple investments in the crypto space, and especially after one of them went up like 15, 20 X in a matter of two years, I'm like, huh, it'd be really great if I could get this in an IRA so that it can grow without ever having to deal with taxes on it. And so then I started looking around, you know, and for, if you're not familiar with some of the benefits of doing this, and, and I'm specifically, I'm talking about a Roth IRA, go back and watch some of our other lessons in the 10X course about using the Roth IRA and how great it is. But I just view the Roth as like a shield to protect from having to pay taxes on anything. So I'm always trying to figure out how I can get as much under that shield as possible. And so why not get crypto in there? And so I started Googling around, I realized, okay, great. There are self-directed IRAs, which a self-directed IRA is one that you can basically put any kind of assets in. Sometimes it can get kind of complicated, but there's multiple places set up that can allow you and help you to invest, basically create an IRA with crypto assets in it. And so I went and looked at a few different ones and I'll just kind of flip through and just show you what my research was. So Alto, this one right here, this is the one I ultimately went with. I went with it for a couple different reasons. It seemed very intuitive and simple to use. Some of them are really complicated and you have to open an LLC just to be able to do it. And it just seemed like too much stuff that I didn't want to get involved in. So this one is what I ultimately went with, but their fee structure is really simple and I liked that about it. And they have 200 different coins and they might have had a little bit less when I started with them, but but just a lot of different options of coins you can invest in. And so I was interested in that. Uh, another one I was looking at is this one directed, this directed IRA thing. This one just felt as I was just kind of exploring what the process would be like, it just felt kind of confusing and not super clear. And so the pricing, I didn't really like the way that they were doing it. It was just gonna end up costing me more. And it just felt, yeah, it just felt a little bit clunky to me. And so I just kind of ruled that one out for that. It was Bitcoin IRA one, from what my, you know, my research on it, it seemed pretty intuitive and pretty simple to use. But at the time they only had, I think you could only invest in like two or three crypto coins. Now they have 60, so they have a bit more. The pricing I think is ambiguous. I don't, I don't think I, they even have it on the site or I wasn't able to find it. So. So anyway, so I was kind of considering this one, but for me, like what I was looking for really was to attempt to build some sort of do-it-yourself index funds of just a lot of different coins and have them all in this Roth. And so again, this one only offered a couple at the time. Originally, I think it was just Bitcoin and now they have, you know, 60 coins, but Alto has 200. And so that was what I ended up going with. Two other ones I was looking at real quick. And I'm just showing these just in case your situation might make more sense with one of these. This is a good place to start. Start research with some of these maybe. Rocket Dollar, you know, they I really liked their setup, the way they were doing things. I think the pricing might not have been as good on this one. I don't recall the exact kind of reason I didn't go with them, but 
That was another one I was looking at. And then I Trust Capital, this one just again, didn't feel super intuitive to me the way the whole process worked. And it might have been one, this might have been one of the ones where you have to open LLC. And I just wasn't very interested in that. All that to say, I ended up going with Alto. And again, I didn't know what to expect when I would get in there, but the process was actually very relatively easy. And so I say easy because it's easy in the context of having to open some sort of investment account. Because, you know, if you've never opened an investment account, it might feel like a good amount of work because you have to do stuff and you might have to send them a picture of your driver's license. You might have to sign a form and email it to them or something like that. Like that's just really common when opening any investment account or bank account. So I did have to do some of that stuff. I remember I had to fill out a, a form. And part of this was because I was rolling over an IRA from from another firm or part of it anyway. So yeah, like I don't want all of my retirement assets in crypto. Like I think that's foolish. I don't want to do that. That's too, it's too much of a risk. But I did want to move a percentage of my retirement assets into crypto because I'm very optimistic over the long term of the potential. So and so this this was just super easy. Like I yeah, I just felt like the whole process was super simple, really quick, and was able to just kind of move through quickly the steps. I think I had to contact their support a couple of times and they were good to work with. So all that to say, yeah, if I have to recommend one, if you are looking to open an IRA, um, you know, and you're in a similar situation to me, like I found this to be really helpful. So here we are over at my Alto IRA account. Just kind of giving you a peek at how it's laid out. It's pretty simple. And yeah, I've just found it to be really intuitive. So what I did is you can do cash contributions, just like, you know, adding money to it, but you can also do a rollover. And so I did a rollover from one of my other IRAs, basically just pulling off a section of that to be able to have some of it in crypto. I just love this idea, like crypto with the huge upside potential, definitely plenty of risk, but if it plays out over the long term, like I am hoping and expecting, that should be a pretty tremendous increase over the next five or 10 years in which it'll be fantastic if we can have that wrapped up into an IRA and not have to worry about taxes on it. So that's kind of my thinking and why I'm excited about this. But, um, you know, you can obviously transfer out of it. You can do a distribution. You can do Roth conversions. You can do all the stuff. And it's just really, really simple. And I've uh, really enjoyed that aspect of it. And then, of course, your actual crypto that you have in here, I think it's so much easier to trade crypto in here than it is any of my other um, IRAs where I'm investing in mutual funds or index funds and individual stocks or bonds or whatever feel like those just seem to be just, I don't know, just more clunky. And this is just pretty simple. It's as simple as we have our list, like you just saw, of all the different coins that we currently own. This isn't even all of them. This is kind of our full list of everything at this point. And all I need to do is just go sell some of them. So if I want to sell off, <clears throat> whatever I want to sell Ethereum, I could do that. And then get that put the order in and then I'd have money available to invest. If I want to move it all over to Bitcoin, I could do that. Uh, so it's just really simple and I really enjoyed using it. One other thing that I thought was really cool that I discovered was just that it has really good reviews on Trustpilot, which if you've seen one of my other videos where I was talking about this, there's so many online brokers and financial institutions that have just really bad reviews <laughs> online because I think when it's involving money, there's so many people just run out and leave bad reviews really quickly. Um, you know, and especially with crypto where people are losing money pretty easily. It's just I don't know, pretty nice to see that they have much good reviews as well. So all I'd say, I'm excited. I'm happy with my decision to kind of come over and create this Roth IRA, this crypto Roth IRA. And so if you're thinking like I am for the long term with crypto and um, love to be able to protect some of those gains from taxes, this is a great way to do it. So anyway, let me know if you have any questions. Happy to answer what I can. All right. See ya.